arrived at the Hubei Black Quarry. And one thing that you're not seeing here is these quarries are way back in the middle of nowhere on windy roads that take hours to get to. Hairpin curves after hairpin curves. Car sickness. Um, harrowing rides. And uh, this is the biggest quarry. Look, look, what the heck? What the hell are you doing? Are you guys doing all tied up? Huh? What are you doing on a leash? You kidding. So, the traditional up in here, this is traditional style. You can see on the building way back in there sort of a haphazard lay of rough, untrimmed slates. That's apparently the original traditional Chinese style. This slate is actually high quality, it goes to Germany, the United States, the UK, it's uh, a stable, black, judging by all these old roofs. Very similar to uh, black Spanish. So here, we have a piece, you can see how fine the grain rings like a piece of steel. I think it's May 10th. 2017. I'm here with Orion Jenkins and Chen back there. Our guide has been very gracious and hospitable and uh, generous in taking us all through Hubei province. Came up in the hill. There's the slate yard in the mill area. Tailings here. Bunch of tailings here. There goes the owner and his daughter. I'm gonna go up higher and see what else I can see. Black Hubei. Uh, nice. Uh, a nice sun fading slate. Here's the view from shelf number two of the mill area. You can see this is all very mountainous. The mountains are all very lush. Very lush and green. This is platform three, and we're standing on platform two. Underneath us is platform two, and platform one is down the bottom. So that's this is platform three. The Hubei Black. Taking out some rock over there. Making roofing slate. All right, we're taking a train from Hong uh, Kong. Hong Kong to Xi'an. We're gonna go to the uh, gonna get an airport hotel. This is our good friend Chen here. Got us the uh, tickets for the train, and we get beds to lay down on for the ride. Uh, here's the ticket. Hong Kong, Hong Kong to Xi'an. <laughs> this is 11012, that's car number 11. And this is bed number, bed number 12 up there. Uh, and then this 
thing beside the, the 12 that looks like an F, that means the bottom, bottom bunk. And if uh, Jen wasn't here, we wouldn't know what the hell to do. <laughs> We'd be completely lost. <laughs> no idea where to go. We'd be on that train. <laughs> what to do, yeah, there's other trains out there too, so. Uh, anyway, that's what's happening.